everyone, I'm Tabby Simpson for Black Theater TV News. Currently, we are on location at the Paul Robeson Performing Arts Company here in Syracuse, New York, where all the directors, the actors, and performers are here for a very important dress rehearsal for their production of the inspirational stage play, Black Nativity. Now, let's see if we can catch up with some of the cast. We'll be right back with more of the Paul Robeson Performing Arts Showcase. Hello, today we are here with Karen Franklin King. She is the acting chair of Board of Directors here at the Paul Robeson Performing Arts Theater. And we kind of just wanted to touch bases on your role as to what you want here to happen for the Paul Robeson Theater. Well, the company's been around for quite a while and I stepped in when the previous uh, board chair uh, had to uh, tend to his family <laughs> um, and have been working with a number of others in the community who believe in the ropes and company and want to do all that they can and that I can to bring awareness to the community that this is a company that that is a tradition in the Syracuse area and has gone beyond the Syracuse area in terms of its national recognition. It really is a national treasure, a Syracuse treasure. And uh, so is Bill Robeson, who, Bill Robeson, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> That's what a lot of people do. We're so used to calling the Paul Robeson Company the Bill Robeson Company. Bill Rowland, who founded uh, the company along with Roy DeLamos. And for folks who know Paul Robeson being an activist, uh, uh, an incredible, performer himself and trying to keep that tradition alive in terms of having a venue for not only our young and old African-American performers, our young and old African-American and multicultural um, and Caucasian theater goers, keeping that tradition alive that we have so much to offer in terms of plays, from our African-American writers, uh, the music, the just the experience that a company like this uh, can lend to this community. So as board members and those who continue to volunteer to help to promote the company, to, um, to support 
whatever uh, bill is uh, trying to accomplish. We believe that mighty works come from small things and though this organization started small, it's continuing to grow and we're trying to help it to grow and, sustain, and to sustain itself as well. Um, just a quick question, what do you think um, or what has the Paul Robeson Theater done to help the youth in the community? When it began as a, as a, a venue for African American performers, it uh, came about at a time when Syracuse University students were anxious to have an opportunity to perform the works of African American playwrights and just to perform, period. It wasn't happening as much as they wanted it to. I believe this was in the, um, in the late 70s and 80s. And the university recognized that and uh, began a partnership with Bill and with the company. So Bill began teaching uh, within the African American Studies Department an excellent opportunity to help those students to learn all aspects of theater, not just um, theater in general, but the African American experience in terms of theater. So he had students that were working on various um, uh, productions in terms of acting, uh, co-writing, directing, working behind the scenes, and it grew from that, and the university continued to support the Robes and Company with the theater space, with office space, with, uh, with assistance in terms of promotions, and above all, in terms of funding. So what I think it lends to this community and to the university is an opportunity to be introduced to wonderful shows like The Wiz on Broadway, Motown, uh, Michael Jackson um, uh, a venue had been done recently. Ruby D was brought to the Syracuse area, and I don't think, it, and I know, none of that would have happened without the Ropes and Company and uh, Bill's efforts. That's wonderful. Um, what do you, what would you like to see for the future for the theater? I'd like to see a board that is extremely active in all aspects of helping a not-for-profit organization in terms of fundraising, in terms of public relations, in terms of um, marketing, in terms of building other partnerships in the community, working with corporations as well as individuals to bring them on board. There are many models out there of boards that, and the volunteers, that uh, uh, can help an organization to continue to rise and sustain itself. And that's what I'm hoping for, for uh, the Ropes and Company's future. Oh, that's great. We thank you so much for joining us and taking time out your busy schedule to come and sit with us. Thank, thank you. you so much. Nice thank to you have the you. Opportunity. Thank you. Yep. We'll be right back with more of the Paul Robeson Performing Arts Showcase.